let me give you a key life skill now, and this is something which can be used outside of computer science. It's very useful in computer science, um, but we can use it in everyday life to just get things done. And it's a skill called decomposition. Let me give you the definition of it first. It's breaking down a large problem into smaller problems so they are solvable. And you can use this in your everyday life. So if you are ever given a problem and it feels a little bit overwhelming, you can use this skill called decomposition to break it down and then all of a sudden it might not seem so bad. So let's take a typical uh, example of this. Let's do um, outside of computer science. Let's say you had to revise for your exams. How do you approach that problem? Because there's actually quite a lot to do there. There's actually the revision itself, but that can take a few different formats, but there's also getting yourself organized. So how can we break this down to smaller problems then? First thing that we might want to do is produce a revision timetable. So that's a sensible thing to do. Then you want to maybe get all your materials together, all your books and things like that that you'll need. And then maybe you've got the actual revision itself. There's a few more things that we need to do uh, to revise, but we'll do, we'll do that. And then maybe actually for when I say revision, how can we break that down further? Uh, we can do exam questions. We can do uh, mind maps. We can watch YouTube videos like the one that you're watching now. And from then that you might want to produce a set of notes uh, and you might want to set and uh, produce a set of flashcards. But you see what I'm doing. I'm now breaking these down, this big problem down, revising for an exam into very small solvable problems. So now all of a sudden you've to revise your exam. You know that you can need to do this. Maybe this is the first thing that you can do that you're going to do. Then you're going to get everything together. And then when you're revising, OK, I'm going to do exam questions. I'm going to watch these tutorials, I'm going to do notes, I'm going to do flashcards. You could have other things here like mind maps. But all of a sudden these problems are very solvable. They're very small problems to have to worry about. I have decomposed my problem. And this is the kind of thing that we do every time we put together any sort of program. So let's pick, oh, let's just pick a sporting game. So let's have a think about, uh, I don't know, something like a football game, maybe like FIFA or something similar. How would you start programming that particular game? There's so much to it, isn't there? So maybe that's, again, we need to use decomposition to start breaking it down. And let's have a think about how we can start to break down that game. Okay, you've got the ball, you need to worry about that. You've got the referee, you need to do something about the rules of the game as well as programming the rec referee. Uh, you've got the players, uh, you've got a crowd to have to worry about as well. You're going to have to program that as well. You've got to get all the different stadiums done as well. Uh, and then it's all of a sudden we can start breaking these down further. So, okay, so we can do sort of like players. Uh, let's do... Let's do human controlled first. So the one that you play, how are we gonna worry about that? What do we need to do with that one? And then we've got um, AI controlled. So the ones which are controlled by the computer, how, how are we gonna program that differently? Over here with the ball, I've got the idea that, okay, it needs to have some sort of ball physics, so it needs to be able to be kicked around, but then the, the game needs to recognize if the ball's in the goal or not as well, see if we've scored a goal. Okay, so let's just break down human control a little bit further. Let's do move player uh, with thumbstick, okay? So that now is a problem that I can probably start to solve. Move player with thumbstick, and then maybe I can do kick uh, with button, okay? Um, I can start, these are small problems now. If I apply this level of decomposition to all of these problems, all of a sudden what I'll end up with is a list of very small problems that I can solve and then roll it all up together and overall I will have this, I'll have my I'll have my football game. So that the idea of decomposition is just breaking down that large problem and keep breaking it down and keep breaking it down and keep breaking it down until you get to a point where you think you can solve the problem. And it's a key skill and it's more than just, and you use it more than just programming, so it's definitely one that is worth mastering. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.